Now we will move on to a more common way in which you would be building a website, locally and on your own computer. Once the local version of the site is completed, then you would upload it to a web server. More on that later in this course. In many cases, developers leverage local environments to build, test, and refine new features and functions. Here, the term local doesn't refer to a geographical space, but rather digital distance because development happens offline or in a local device environment. With no connection needed, developers can quickly create and evaluate new website iterations without risking the integrity of live brand pages. Building locally will allow us to have more flexibility and more control over our websites but it will require that we learn some things about working locally, dealing with relative paths and ensuring that our files are named correctly. In addition, we will be learning some necessary code that every web page needs to function correctly. We didn't have to use this code in CodePen as it adds the code behind the scenes. Completed web development projects are considered live which means they exist in real time on your website and are accessible to all visitors. But what happens when they're still in progress and not ready for the public eye? Where do developers work new site code and content before making it publicly available? This is where the local development situation comes into play. So before we get into our IDE and begin coding away locally, I need to make sure that you understand the importance and rules of file management and naming conventions in regards to how they impact web design and development.